When the summer really gets going here in the Pacific Northwest, there are certain beaches with lush eelgrass beds that provide food and shelter for a very special mollusk, the Taylor sea hare or zebra leaf slug. These beauties are opisthobranchs in the same subclass of animals as nudibranchs. This just means they are related in the bigger group picture. When you dig in a little more though, they split into their own order, the Anaspidia or sea hares. Sea hares developed foot flaps called parapodia. These flaps, an extension of their foot, fold and protect their gills and other organs. Kind of like origami skin, when the parapodia are folded, they create siphons that can take in water over the gills at one opening and get rid of deoxygenated water and waste at the other. They are called sea hares because their rolled rhinophores reminded someone along the way of cute land rabbits. Rhinophores are sensory organs that nudibranchs have too. Since they don't have great eyesight, these organs help them smell their way around. Taylor sea hares are perfectly suited to the beds of eelgrass they call home. They get their meals from the diatoms and epiphytic algae living on the eelgrass, and their coloration allows them the perfect camouflage to blend into their environment. If you want to see some Taylor sea hares in the wild, you will need to walk slowly and look carefully for signs that they might be around. Their egg masses. Eggs are often one of the best clues to find tiny invertebrates. Taylor sea hare eggs look like rectangular patches on the eelgrass. They might be a little more yellow if recently deposited or brownish if they've been there for a while. If you find the eggs, you can look carefully through the eelgrass. Taylor sea hares tend to sandwich themselves between the blades, especially towards the base of the eelgrass plants. Find a spot on the edge of the eelgrass bed to search gently. You will want to avoid walking through the eelgrass so you don't crush any of our beautiful friends underfoot. It is always worth taking it slow in the intertidal zone to get a glimpse of these magnificent animals.